Hey, hello guys. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how you can install WordPress locally on your Android phone. So you can use WordPress on your phone and create any type of website for free. And if you learn properly, then you can create your online websites to earn money. Okay. So how you can do that? For that, you need to download one application called Termux. So how you can do that? first of all just google it for mahesh technicals and here scroll down and you will find one website called maheshtechnicals.com so just go here then you will find this article okay i written this article for you so find this article if you not getting this article here so click on search bar and type wordpress then you will see this article okay okay now you can see you have this article just click on this article title then here you will find all your requested links and required things okay just click on download section and here you will find termux application download link just download from here here you will get latest update of termux application i already installed that so now let's start our video and start installing wordpress on our local android phone for that first of all you need to follow some methods and commands for that just open your termux application first now oh, our termux is ready to execute some commands to install wordpress on our android phone locally for that scroll down and you here you will find all the commands okay so find uh, copy the command here first it will update and upgrade packages on your termux application so it will take some time according to your internet speed so and whenever it ask you for yes or no so just type y and press enter okay okay our packages are updated and upgraded successfully so now the next step is to install some packages which is required for installation of wordpress so just copy and paste this command it install wget git and nano package into your termux application that's it now we are going to download lamp server files here okay so we need to we are going to install lamp server that's why first we need to download lamp server files so for that just copy this command and paste here it will automatically download lamp server files into your termux application let me show you when you when you type ls you can see that folder lamp termux okay so now we are moving to this folder for that just type cd lamp termux okay this command just copy and paste and press enter after that you will find one file which is install.sh so we are going to give some permissions here you can see this file so we are going to give executable permission here for that just paste this command and press enter after that you need to run this file which is install.sh so when when you enter this command and press enter it will start installing lamp server on your termux application so it will take some time so here it is asking yes or no so type yes then press enter it will install mysql php then php my admin apache okay all all those things we it is installed on your termux at once so wait until it's complete All files are downloaded successfully. Now the next most important step is you need to exit the Termux. Okay, it is most important point. Otherwise, your Apache server will not work. So after installation of Lamp server, you need to exit the Termux application. After that, again open the Termux application and follow other commands. Okay, so download this command, uh, copy this command which is Lamp. Whenever you type Lamp. your lamp configuration will pop up on your screen so here you need to enable my sql and my apache so we are going to enable apache for that type 0 and enter 
it will enable apache server after that you need to start mysql for that just type lamp again then type 1 for starting mysql okay so how we can check our server is working or not so to check that go to the new tab and type localhost colon 8080 it is your port you can see if you see this page on your screen it means your apache and mysql server is started successfully you can see that as well in my screenshot as well now the next step is to configure our mysql because we don't know the root par password of mysql so to get that just copy this command to enter into mysql just paste and enter you are now entered in mysql database after that we are going to use mysql database so to use that just copy this command which is use mysql and paste and press enter now we need to set a password for mysql database so to do that just copy this command and paste the command in the terminal you can see this password is six times zero you can change if you want so change in the command okay so you can easily change your password but right now our password is six times zero that's it after that we need to refresh your my sql settings so just copy this command and paste here which is flush privileges now our mysql setup is done now going to exit this we are going to exit from mysql that's it now let's now let me show you how you can log in to your php my admin so to do that you need to copy this command or url you can say localhost colon 8080 slash php my admin okay just copy this url and paste here in the address bar and press enter you can see the url here okay just press here enter and you will see this type of screen here you need to log in to your mysql database okay so here is your uh, username which is root and password is six times zero so let me add this credentials and try to log in okay just click on login oh no so we we are getting this error so i already fixed that error don't worry let me show you how you can fix that so we come up here and we got this error okay so our error is already fixed so let me show you how you can fix that you can see this nano command just copy this command go to your terminal again termux terminal just paste here it will open one file into your term terminal so we need to edit something let me show you what you need to edit use your arrow keys here scroll down and here you will find one line which is localhost let me show you you can see the, the here is localhost you can see that just remove this localhost and type 127.0.0.1 that's it you can see that properly now after that just save the settings for that type control o enter then control x that's it file is saved successfully now let me show you again now again we are going to log in here again i am going to type my username which is root and password is six times zero and now our php my admin dashboard is successfully logged in our error is fixed now the next step is 
to create a new database for your WordPress website. Okay, so we are going to create our new database for our WordPress website. So to do that, go here again, PHP my admin, just click on this icon, then click on database. Then here it is asking for database name. So I'm going to give MT, which is in capital letters and then click on create button. It will create database of name MT in your database section. You can see that empty database is created successfully. Now our database is also created. Now we are going to see the next part, which is how you can install WordPress locally on your Android. So first of all, we need to download WordPress file. Then we need to install that. So just copy this command. It will transfer you from any directory to the htdocs directory okay so just paste this command and i am going to clear this terminal then copy this command by default you have index.php file okay so we need to remove this file so to do that just paste this command rm index.php then you can see our file is deleted after that we need to download latest wordpress zip file so for that just copy wget command and just pay, press enter it will download wordpress zip file from the internet okay so wait until it's complete okay so download it successfully let me show you type ls and press enter you can see latest dot zip but it is in zip format so we need to extract that files as well. So copy this command, which is unzip latest.zip. Just paste this and press enter. It will extract all your files. After that, just copy this command. It will transfer your all WordPress file into proper folder. Okay, proper folder. It will move all the files. Then type ls and you can see all your WordPress file is hosted on your local host now. So now how we can access our WordPress website, okay? How we can set up our WordPress website. So to do that, just type localhost colon 8080 and press enter. Now you can see you got WordPress installation wizard here. Okay, so select language, whatever you want, then click on next. Then type, click on let's go. Then here is the main step here you need to put your WordPress database name, which is created on PHP my admin. Then username is root and password is six times zero. Then remove this local host and type 127.0.0.1 like this. Okay. So recheck all the details again, then click on next. Okay. I already give you all the screenshot with the details okay so you can read here and type manually then click on start installation then your database is connected with your wordpress successfully then continue then here you need to set up your wordpress dashboard admin username and password so we are going to set properly so type admin whatever you want but remember this because you need to put whenever you want to log into your WordPress admin, admin dashboard. Okay, so copy. I'm going to copy this my password and let me pin this. Okay, then put any email ID, whatever you want. Then click on next. That's it. Successfully, your login credential are created. After that, click on login. And here you need to paste your WordPress admin username and password which you said before just click login and boom you are now logged in into your WordPress without any error okay so with this method you can easily use WordPress locally on your Android phone okay so we are going to install one theme here because many people ask me to install theme i am getting errors so let me show you 
if we get any error or not i'm going to delete some themes because we have three themes here now click on add new then scroll down i'm going to install astra theme which is very popular theme and this theme is installed on your on my mahesh technicals website as well so let me install and activate and you can see successfully our astra theme is also activated i'm going to remove this old theme here okay so astra theme is activated let me show you my website here it is very simple website because we did nothing okay we not customize anything right now but you can create any type of website any kind of website you can use elementor page builder as well without any error so you can use this okay so with this method you can use wordpress locally on your android phone so let me show you some plugins as well you can see these plugins let me delete that plugins and you can see the speed of working here you can see it is working very well okay so with this method you can easily install wordpress locally on your android phone but now how you can stop your server how we can restart your server so if you want to know let me show you how you can do that so to do that just go to your termux application okay our right now our server is activated that's why our website is looking now we are going to stop our server let me show you how you can stop for that just type lamp then here you need to follow the numbers we are going to stop apache first so to do that just type 2 then your apache is turned off okay stop after that again type lamp then type 3 it is stop your sql that's it now if you are going to your access your website you can see you got error because our server is disabled now how you can enable again again type lamp and again type 0 and press enter it will start your apache again type lamp and again type 1 it will enable my sql database that's it now your website is again live you can see that that's it your website is live again so with this method you can easily stop and start the server and your you can manage your wordpress website here if you create good websites so you can import or uh, export this website and host into your web hosting if you want so you can host that website on online as well so bookmark this article if you like this article or if you like this video so please like the video and share this video with your friends and family so we are meet in the next video thank you so much for watching guys we will meet in the next video